Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about Jenkins and Maven. Specifically, I wanted to show you how you just do a normal Maven build when you pull something from GitHub and demonstrate everything that goes into that. And then I wanna show you how you would do the exact same thing, but do it in Jenkins and take advantage of Java's most popular continuous integration tool. Here I am over in GitHub in my rock, paper, scissors web application right here. And as you can see, there's a POM file, which means this is a Maven project. What I wanna do is I wanna get the URL for this project, clone it, do a build, and then reproduce that whole Maven build in Jenkins. So how do you do a build? Well, you just open up your command prompt. And if you've got Git installed and Maven installed, let's see what the Git version is. So gets installed and Maven should be installed too. Ah, perfect. With that installed, all you have to do is a git clone command. Paste in the URL for the GitHub repository. That brings it all down. Then you just do a CD into that directory. So it's going to create a directory called rock, paper, scissors. So CD rock star. And then just do a Maven clean install. And magically, Maven will run and build this project. Uh, and building it means compiling it, running all of the tests, and maybe even packaging this whole thing up in a war file. So I can even go in here, take a look at that folder. What was it, studno 37 rock, paper, scissors. And yeah, you can see here there's that target folder and we've actually got a war file created there. So everything was packaged and built. Now, how would you do that in Jenkins? Okay, so let's say we want Jenkins to do continuous integration for us. Well, you click new item in Jenkins and you type in Jenkins Maven build example and just create a freestyle project. Now, Maven is baked right into Jenkins, so you don't need to use the Maven plugin, but there are benefits to using the Maven plugin. I'm gonna take a look at that in a future tutorial, but for now, I'm just gonna use the basic comes with the installation plugins in order to pull my source code and compile my application. So I click on the source code tab, notice there's the option to use Git. It's gonna ask me what the repository URL is, and hopefully I've still got that on the clipboard, I do. That's rock, paper, scissors right there. Notice it asked me which branch to compile. I'm just gonna select the master branch, but you know, there's the main branch, which we should be calling things. Oh, I don't have the main branch there. Don't tell anybody about that. I've also got a broken branch and a failure branch. So if you want to, you can always click on here and say, hey, I'm gonna add a couple of other branches. I'm gonna add the broken branch and I'm gonna add the, what was the other branch called? the failure branch, geez, that doesn't sound very positive, but add it in as well. So if you wanna build from multiple branches in Git, you can do that. And then what do we wanna do when we pull from each of these branches? Well, we want to run a Maven command. So we've got this option to invoke a top level Maven target. You'll notice that in the DOS prompt, I had to say Maven clean install. Watch this, now watch closely I didn't have to type those three letters MVN in. And yeah, I know that's gonna make your day. So basically this build tool changes your life, right? Saves your time, changes your life. Three letters MVN, don't have to do that anymore. Life change. Okay, so I'm gonna click save. Then I'm gonna click on build now. Now I'm actually gonna have three Jenkins build jobs run. That's because I called for pulls of three different branches, clones of three different branches. So normally if you just did this on one branch, you would only get one, uh, you'd only get one build job running. But I'm gonna click on this build job. Uh, oh, look at that, we got red, it's punitive. Going back there, let's take a look at this uh, red punitive build job. And so I wonder what branch that was. Oh, that's the failure branch. So aptly named, and I can look at the console output here. Now, that doesn't mean my Jenkins build had a problem. My Jenkins build ran properly. It just looks, it says here, hey, there was a failure in run of the one of the tests. So Jenkins is working fine, 
just my developers need a, uh, to be beaten with a stick, it would seem. So let's take a look at this Jenkins Maven build here. Oh, here's another one. So one had a failure. I'm gonna take a look at the console output here. Scrolling down, this one actually had just an outright compilation error. So that's not particularly good. Um, but let's take a look at one of the other branches here. Okay, well, there is the main branch, let's hope. And it should be the master branch taking a look at the output here. And we can see that this one was a successful build. So we actually had three builds there for Maven. One failed, one had a compilation error, and one worked perfectly. No failures, no compilation errors. Boy, I'm happy to hear that. And by the way, if I actually take a look in this uh, rock, paper, scissors folder, there's a little game file there. I can double click on that. And if you really want, you can uh, play all day playing rock, paper, and scissors. See if you can figure out the trend. But yeah, it looks like the application is working. It passed the build and I've even got a nice little rock, paper, scissors game there that I can play with. So there you go. That's how you go in and configure a Maven build job. And uh, as you can see, I'm just gonna take a look at it one more time. Click on this configure button and just let you see the key things that were set up here was mentioning the Git repository to pull from, specifying the branches that we wanted to pull and invoke the Maven tasks upon, and then finally invoking the actual Maven task. It's also worth noting that Maven and Git are installed on this machine, as we saw right at the start where we actually asked, hey, what was the version of Git and a version of Maven? If you don't have Git and Maven installed, it's not gonna work unless you're using a Docker container. And there you go, that's how easy it is to integrate Jenkins and Apache Maven in your build jobs. Now in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a pipeline. And then after that, I'm gonna show you how to do that using Docker. But if you're just getting started, that's a great place to start. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. Got lots of great tutorials on Jenkins and Maven and anything that has to do with DevOps and enterprise development. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.